Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to get a PDF document to read out loud. Now you might be having it open in Adobe or possibly it's going to open in Google Chrome or Firefox by default, whatever the web browser is you're using. I personally like to use Adobe Reader. It's free and it just works better. Uh, it gives you more options and for the sake of what we're trying to do here, if you were using it in a web browser, you're going to need to use an extension that you got to download and install. And if you watch my other videos in the past, you'll know that I don't like adding extensions to my web browsers if I don't have to. That can just create more conflicts, potential problems, and you got to be able to trust who you're downloading these add-ons from. So we're going to be looking at using Adobe Reader in this case. So we're not adding any extensions to our browser. All right, so we're in Adobe Reader and we've got a 28 page document here. And if you're a bit of a slow reader or just wanna give your eyes a bit of a rest, then you can turn on this feature. So there's um, one thing that you might wanna look at first is the options. So if we go into menu and go to preferences, on the left side of all the different options here, you wanna to go to reading. And under the read, uh, read out loud options section here, you'll see that maybe it's on default voice. You'll have to uncheck that and then you can change it to one of the others that you may have available. I believe you can also download and install other voices as well. But uh, this is at least giving you some options that come with the windows. We're going to uh, change our defaults here and hit OK. So you've got that set and that stays the whole time until you go back in there and change it. That's going to be for every document, even if you close and open Adobe Reader and reboot the computer, it'll stay the same. Now for the other options, this is going to be every time you go in here. So under menu again, we're going down to view and then to read out loud and here's where you've got all the options. So there's two things to do before we can start reading it and pausing and all that stuff. We have to activate it. So we'll just click on it or you can use the shortcut here, which it's good to make a note of these shift control Y. So now if I go back in here again, so we can at least see what's going on, it says deactivate which is the same command if you use the uh, keyboard shortcut. From this point now, you can either read this page that we're currently on in the document or read from where we're at currently all the way to the end of the document. And here are the shortcut keys as well, which if you're not familiar with how to use them, it means hold down the shift key and hold down the control key at the same time and then tap on the letter that corresponds with that. So if you hold down shift and control, tap B and then let go of shift and control, it will read it all the way to the end until you either stop it, which is E, or pause it, which is C. And the pause also turns into resume. So you can pause and resume using that same key command. So we're gonna go in there and have a look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this to read to the end. Table of contents section one general information. Five, one. one thing you might notice is that it's going to be really Five, choppy as well. So you can see the options there. I'm going to go back in here. I was trying not to talk at the same time while that's going. I hit pause. Now it shows resume, which is the same option, or we could stop it completely. So that's basically starting after you activate it, start, stop, pause and resume. And it does also move to the next page automatically as it's reading. So if you want it to follow along, if there's pictures or diagrams with it, you could sit back, relax and watch it flip to the next page, showing the diagrams and pictures as it's reading, which is really cool. So you don't need to be sitting there flipping the page to keep up with where it's reading from. 
So anyway, make a note of those shortcuts and you can do that from your computer as well so you don't need to be remembering to write it down now. And you can enjoy having a document read to you now and rest your eyes or just sit back and enjoy it and watch the diagrams and such. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.